This is a really good show. This is a really good show, bro. Y'all got to watch this. This is a really good show. I am so funny. You got to see the humor in this. You got to see the humor in this. And if you ever meet Diddy, you got to tell them no. Like Cat Williams said, you got to tell him no. R. Kelly defends Diddy amid allegations. Look, R. Kelly facing, he, he sentenced to 30 years for sex trafficking and racketeering and a slew of other charges messing with them young girls. Well, he say he don't believe this shit, they being targeted. You could tell him the sky blue right now and he ain't gonna believe it. He don't believe nothing to come out your mouth. Uh, Diddy ain't did no wrong if you ask him. But look who's talking, bro. Look who's talking. R. Kelly, you still ain't showed no remorse for the shit that you've done, bro. This is, who cares if R. Kelly is defending Diddy? Diddy don't want to be defended by R. Kelly, bro. He don't even want to be in the same boat with R. Kelly. Now, they got two of them. They got R. Kelly and they got Diddy. Who they missing? The people know they missing Jigga. You know what I mean? Jigga been quiet. And starting little fires about the Super Bowl. But a nigga want him to really come out and talk about some shit now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga want to come on, Mr. Carter. It's your time, boy. It's your time. Look, Diddy Freak Offs allegedly had no air conditioner and the doors was locked. You had to give your cell phone up and they and we already know they had a thousand bottles of baby oil on the wall. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 bro. Uh, yeah, these people here just weird. And, and on top of that, they sweating profusely because they own drugs. They own the two shit. Um, come on, man. These, this little Hollywood shit, no, I didn't heard about swingers and doing all this other type of shit, but y'all just hot and musty and doing all this old nasty, weird freakiness with freaky mind and kissing mind. Yeah, this is weird, bro. If this is Hollywood, a nigga don't want no parts of it. Nah, 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 nah. Nigga don't want no parts of it. I used to be mad I ain't had no record deal, but it turns out, shit, they saved me, bro, because I would have had to touch something. Like choke, like nah, I don't know Diddy shit. I would have had to choke a nigga out of something, bro. I don't play like that, bro. So yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all drop it in the comments, man. What's going on with this? A lot of celebrities are gonna be dragged down because so many of them was on tapes. He been doing free golfs for 20 years, and I know they been to Love Island. So when that Love Island shit really hit the fan, a lot of people are gonna get drugged down with it. Uh, yeah, uh, the rap game ain't gonna be the same. Yeah. Cameron say don't correlate it to the rap game with well, all you niggas were fucking with Diddy back in the day and yeah 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 it, it it tainted the situation yeah yeah big time nigga tainted the situation look Kendrick Lamar life threatened by a rapper that go by the name of Top Five I don't know Top Five but allegedly he's supposed to be a hitter Drake put money behind him to get his charges dropped so he's out of jail he say he want Kendrick Lamar on some street shit and Kendrick can't come to Toronto. Can't come to Toronto. As far as his entourage, he won't hand-to-hand -hand fist fight. Yeah, he trying to go to real battle. I don't know if this dude playing around. I don't know. I really don't know. But what he don't know is just talking like that to get you fucked up. You dig? That'll get you fucked up. Now, when it go from Drake to Kendrick, I got to take Drake's side because that's my guy. You know what I mean? But... Kendrick my nigga, bro, so I ain't gonna let nobody really just come and play with this nigga like this, you know what I mean? Nah, 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 nah. Now, when it's sweet, it's sweet. But when it's like real beef, hey, K-Dot, don't worry about a ting, bro. Don't worry about a ting, and I know you not, bro, but don't worry about that. I don't even know who this top five nigga is, but Drake, you got to calm this one down. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We ain't gonna let no outsiders get in the mix, bro. What y'all had going? That's respect. But once these little niggas start coming out and they start going real threats, hey, that's a threat against all of us, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's a threat against all of us, man. Don't come to Toronto. Who you talking to? You got to even put more of an address on that. Because when you say K-Dot name, that means more than just K-Dot, bro. You, you better learn. You better learn. Hey, and y'all mark my words. This top five nigga might not just make it too long, bro. Let's just be honest. Let's just be real, bro. That's what we do. Scars from the playground. Look, Diddy filing for bankruptcy. What? Yeah, he fought. Man, that's a bit. That nigga got a billion dollars. Well, not no more. It, it went down drastically. But yeah, he filing for bankruptcy. Why? Because they trying to tie his money up in the criminal and civil suits. Everybody trying to sue Diddy. And before long, even a city, a, a New York City going to be trying to sue Diddy. L.A. going to be trying to sue him. They want the money, bro. They want the money, but he's going bankrupt. 
turns out the man had been smart. He ain't been putting nothing in his name for a minute. Even the highs wasn't in his name. The kids ain't even past 17 yet. They got houses in their name and businesses. Let's just be real, let's just be honest. I know the man was a freak, but when it come to money, bro, we can't put him down on that, you know what I mean? I can't put him down on that. I don't know nothing about that freaky shit, you know what I mean? But when it come to money, the nigga got a plan and the nigga ain't gonna go broke, man. I can promise you that, y'all mark my words, Diddy ain't going broke, even if it's all being hidden. That nigga is liquidating assets and he's gonna have it, bro. Let's just be honest, let's just be real. So. For everybody talking about the dealer, see me, I do what I do because I could do that. But don't do that shit and be like Freddie P and be scared to come out the highs once Diddy come outside now. Yeah, 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 yeah. y'all better quit. Yeah, y'all better quit, bro, because what can make you laugh can make you cry. But look, I ain't with this Diddy guy. You know what I mean? Me personally, I'm like, fuck him. He get what he deserve. I laugh at it. Why? Because it's all entertaining to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me not laughing this diabolical nigga. Scars from the playground. Look, finesse two times is not the father. Not the father. Look, I feel bad for son. Yeah, yeah, I feel bad for son because no man should have to experience this one here. When you think it's your baby and you made so many plans for it and somebody tell you, this ain't yours. Look, if you want to know, bro, he didn't even go check it. You know, he didn't even go check it. He been in a polyamorous relationship, so he got two women pregnant. He thought they were both his. Well, his mama knew something was fishy. She smelled something fishy. Wasn't coming from between her legs. It was coming from the situation. So she went go check it out. Swabbed the child, swabbed him. Uh, turns out it wasn't his baby. She put it on Instagram. Marvy Povich speaks. Finesse two times, you are not the father. Even more than that, she was mad because she's like, how can you let us get attached to this baby when you knew it was a potential fat, uh, possibility that it wasn't yours? Well, a nigga don't know. A nigga don't know. A nigga was just hoping for the best and hoping that woman wasn't really doing what no love was saying, like sleeping with the bodyguard, you know what I mean? He was played. But guess what? He just got out of jail and they was looking to play him. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got to see it for what it is, bro. You got to see it from our angles. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. This was the money play. That woman knew that shit wasn't his. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. When he was on the road or in the room with the other chick, she was in the room with the other nigga, the bodyguard. Obviously, that's what No Love said. That's why No Love got his ass whooped. But yeah, yeah. Drop it in the comments, man. Squash from the playground. Look, Offset and Cardi B going through some shit now. You know what I mean? Now, she just told him that she been seeing other niggas since July 29th. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Months before they even filed for divorce. Now, look, be careful what you wish for Offset, because now you start trolling Cardi B, and the world is going to be with Cardi B, bro, because you wasn't supposed to have a no hide. Yeah, you just an example of a ugly ass nigga to get him a woman that's attractive and think he's supposed to have an attractive woman. That woman turned you up like Sierra did Future, bro. Let's just be real. Let's be honest, bro. Last Before we check, bro, last time I checked, you was in tall tees, nigga. Let's just be honest, bro. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Offset, bro, you didn't fuck that situation up. Take told me a long time ago what Take brother say. Take didn't tell you a goddamn thing, nigga. And that's funny because I didn't even know they were beefing that damn hard. You know, I ain't know Take off had a brother. But his brother say, bro, Take didn't tell him a goddamn thing, you know? But nobody didn't have to, bro. If you watch Love and Hip Hop, we all knew what Cardi B was and who she is, nigga. You tried to simp over, you know what I mean? You tried to simp over, and on top of that, you used her like a freak for the whole relationship and showed the world that you was looking, using her like a freak, bro. You should have treated her like a woman and did what you had to do. You wouldn't have been losing your family, bro, but... Offset been a sucker, bro. Oh, oh, I don't like those shoes. Um, the brown doesn't go with the yellow. I would never have wore that. Offset, when the fuck did you get so fly? Nigga, chill out. That's why a nigga don't fuck with Offset. See, Quavo be dressing and just be regular with it and humble with it. This nigga here, the hat doesn't match. Uh, it had to crease. Like, man, shut the fuck up, nigga, and put your goddamn Uggs on and your tight jeans and be quiet, nigga, please. Yo Gotti being dragged in a Young Dolph trial. Look, Big Juke, his brother, just passed away, bro. Somebody got him at the funeral. Big Juke, turns out Big Juke paid a hundred grand. Put a hundred grand on Dolph's head. The shooter say he only got eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred, you know what I mean? Wasn't even paid. But what he messed up at, bro, is on the stand, he told the people, yeah, 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 he told the people that CMG 
paid his lawyer fees, 50 grand, you know what I mean? So now you didn't get just 800, you got 50,000 and 800, you know what I mean? They paid your lawyer fee, but now that just fucked your got it. Cause that just a potential Rico is amongst us, you know what I mean? Yo got to get your affairs in order, bro. Them people are coming to get you, bro. I'm just going to uh, be blunt with it. Them people trying to come get you, dog, and they trying to put you under the jail for this one. So it's fucked up for got it, but it might mean justice for Dolph. Which one of y'all would, man? Drop it in the uh, comments. Squads from the playground. Look, Charleston White throwing shots at Lil Woody. Yeah, look, Lil Woody been doing all type of 20 V1s with Shamar. It's on you to go figure out who Shamar is. I don't know what the hell Shamar is, you know what I mean? But turns out Lil Woody like him. Them, they, her, whatever the pronoun is these days, you know what I mean? Look, Lil Woody's a sucker. That's what Charleston White say. That's not my word. He say Lil Woody a sucker. Can't even weed, you know what I mean? Can't even weed correctly, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He say he's slow. He say uh, he using his name to book all these interviews and all this shit. They think he come with Charleston, so they paying him a nice little number and he getting rich from snitching. I ain't never seen nobody get rich from snitching, bro. On top of that, it don't matter if he blew the trial or not. Hey, Woody, you a snitch, bro. Let's just be honest. Let's be real. But he did it for his own accord. I can't be mad at him. He say, hey, at least he free. At least, he, at least I'm free. You know how they talk out there, bro, on top of his legs. At least I'm free. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know what's going on with Charles and White and Lil Woody, but it could all be a little play just so they, they can get more views, bro. Let's just be honest. Let's be real. That's what they do. These two don't got nothing to be for. Nothing to be for. Uh, Charleston White is a prospective snitch, uh, a prospect. He a snitch prospect. And Young Woody, Lil Woody, is a snitch, officially. So yeah, they got too much in common to be beefing. So I think it's all bullshit, bro. Drop it in the comments. Look, Vlad throwing shots at Marlon Wayans. We all thought this was over. Marlon wanted 40K for an interview. Vlad told him he wasn't worth it. Well, now Vlad didn't apologize. I thought they had shook hands on it, but they still throwing shots. Vlad say if he want 40K for anything, he should go make a gay porno. On top of that, he should make it Marlon Gayens. Yeah, yeah, he think that'd be a great name for a gay porno for him, considering all the things that Marlon has gone and the stance that he takes on the LGBTQPR community. I want to say... I agree. Maybe that lane will be good for Marlon because this old same played out shit that he's been going on, bro, it ain't working no more. The jokes just ain't hitting the same, bro. Yeah, yeah, it just ain't hitting the same. We got fucking Instagram comedians that's going harder than the real comedians these days. Let's just be honest, bro. Let's just be real, bro. Uh, who is the H-Town comedian? I forgot, but he been doing all the Diddy. Uh, he been doing a little Diddy impersonations and shit. That shit's so funny. Jeff Shelley, I believe. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to get your name wrong, bro. But if that's your name, keep doing your thing, bro, because you funny. Yeah, yeah, you funny in the motherfucker, yeah. Uh, squats from the playground, man. <laughs> Peace. Look, Diddy refusing to eat prison food. Yeah, he don't want to eat nothing in jail, allegedly. He say he fearing for his life. That's what they say. Look, Diddy ain't worried about that shit. Diddy eating like a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, Diddy a savage. If you know anything from these freak offs and all this shit they telling you about Diddy, Diddy ain't tripping on shit. He the type of nigga go from a million dollar bed to go sleep on a cot with ease. Yeah, 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 this nigga here a savage. And I'm not talking about the good kind of savage. This nigga here is the worst kind of savage ever because that nigga can maintain in any motherfucking weather. Yeah, 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 man. Uh, Diddy ain't tripping, man. That man eating, bro. Yeah, that man eating big. They, the the prisoners giving Diddy they food, bro, just for uh, a what's up, you know what I mean? A potential hookup when you get out of this motherfucker. Or, you know what, put my kid on while I'm in here, bro, I got you. Diddy gonna be taken care of. But yeah, you know what, Diddy is done, though, and Diddy did do it, you know what I mean? The dealer been on the strike. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> for real, the dealer, dealer been striking everybody. But... Like I said, this is false allegations. Diddy eating, bro. Diddy ain't tripping and worried about his life that hard. Well, not on that. He don't want to be in jail for the rest of his life, but I doubt if he thinking somebody going to touch him. He got too many money, too much money. 
Uh, look at Lucius Lyon when Lucius Lyon went to prison, bro, in, in, in Empire. Lucius was good, you know what I mean? Hey, what you needed? College for your daughter, right? And you, your mama needed a heart transplant? Yep, 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 yep. And you was behind on tax, your store was behind on taxes? Got you, got you. Look, before you know it, Diddy beat and covered the whole room. Everybody in that room got Diddy back. Man, drop it in the comments, man. Like, share, subscribe. Nigga, we up. Peace. If they throw it, I'ma catch it. I play the game like Tetris. I'm one of a kind rap. People tell me I'm a clip. I've been working 24 hours, summertime to win them. I ain't really at the chili, gotta be about business.